Hi family, how are you? I hope y'all are doing fantastic. I am well. It is a gorgeous day here today. It is, the temperature is perfect, the sun is shining, clarity is coming through, and there's no trails in the sky. It's almost like I jumped into a different dimension. <laughs> like when we change our lives, it happens drastically. It's not necessarily going to be a gradual process. Something just clicks and then everything works out. It's like you jump into a different time and space. My hair is standing up. I pulled a few cards for you today. I uh, went on a little adventure and uh, ended up getting to go to a Barnes and Noble. I'm so excited about it, y'all. Where's that box? Um, I just, I get bored of the tarot decks I'm reading on. You know, I read cards a lot. <clears throat> and so I wanted, I haven't been to Barnes and Noble in years. So I went in there and look what they had. A Grateful Dead tarot deck, straight up. I was so happy, it was like Christmas, oh my gosh. Like seriously. Anyways, I thought I'd share that with you. Very exciting, very exciting uh, times that I'm living in. <laughs> um, anyways, I pulled some cards for you and uh, this is another deck I found there. This is a um, ancient symbolism deck. And first card out is time. Number 14 breaks down to a five. Time is changing everything. It takes time to transform. What number was this? 19. It takes time to transform from these karmic cycles that are all coming to an end right now. It's your past life. It's coming to a completion at this time. And something's going on. You're being guided, guides, to cleanse your divine masculine. <clears throat> or you are cleansing your divine masculine at this time. The collective is something like that. <clears throat> I'm going to pull on my Grateful Dead cards. But at the bottom of the deck, we have four wins. This is card number 20. Judgment. This reminds me of... I think it's a Native American oral tradition that um, I'm not sure. It might be in the Bible. Anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about. But this has to do with God, the angels, unleashing the winds from all four corners of the earth. And the chosen are able to stand in a place of peace as this happens. As the rest of the world gets their justice, their karma. Uh, yeah, the time has come for Judgment Day. <clears throat> Fire. 11. This is the tower card in the traditional tarot, I believe. <clears throat> I should look it up real quick. I want to make sure. 
always get confused when I'm reading for some reason. <laughs> they really try to work me. I saw a blue jay right before I started this. Oh, it's Justice. 11 is the Justice card. That's right. <clears throat> Fire brings in Justice. And I've spoken about this, the Chosen being Fire beings. And Fire starters. It's why <clears throat> with some chosen electrical systems have a real issue operating correctly around you. You inject fire, extra electricity into it, and it short circuits or starts on fire. <laughs> Same thing, I guess. Anyways... <clears throat> Justice is coming in for this transformation that you've been going through. And for these people that, um, justice is coming in for judgment day. That's just all there is to it. Inverted sun, um, sunflower. This is also number 19 coming in right under 19 transformation. You're transforming out of a time where you were just completely clueless to everything that was going around on around you. Number 12, blues. You're transforming out of this time where you just have like, um, you <clears throat> basically have a feeling like you could just never live exactly how you wanted to. You always felt restricted, restricted, bound, tied up. There's three fives in the top row here. There's change that's bringing in balance. <clears throat> Lovers, six. It looks to me like you're being guided to some kind of partnership. Ten of Skulls. Which is Ten of Swords. This is coming to you because you have gotten over all of the <clears throat> torture that you've been through in the past, being stabbed in the back in various ways, painful ways, inverted Ten of Wands, Ten Ten. You're unloading your burdens. You're unloading all of these burdens from your past life. You're wiping it away like it never happened. Like you're jumping timelines. You're jumping into a timeline where this stuff didn't doesn't exist. Don't drag it with you. Inverted <clears throat> three of... Uh, Bolts, I think they're calling it. Wands. Um, yeah, don't let <clears throat> being attached to these things of your past life. Past lives, they call it. It's like jumping timelines rather than thinking of it as we're going through one timeline. 
we're jumping timelines, dimensions, going to a more favorable one. This might be what we've been waiting for. We're just going to jump out of this world and right into another, like, <clears throat> like the last one never happened. Inverted seven of wands. The people that have been coming up against you have no defense for their actions. <clears throat> it's like they're sitting in spiritual court and they're like, um, okay, so you did a bunch of terrible things, but what were you intending? You had to have been intending something good to come out of all of this chaos. And they're sitting there like, no. The chaos is what I was going for. Um, <clears throat> there's no defense for what they've done. They have no defense. Knight of Roses. This is the Knight of Cups in a traditional deck. <clears throat> I was trying to go inverted. I guess we'll let it. This is the sibling, the aunt or uncle, cousin, ex-lover. Um, that came up against you during this time of your transformation. They're all getting justice, justice by fire. They're being purified by your energy. Something like that. Page of Bolts. <clears throat> um, there's some kind of message coming in about something that's been hidden from you. From these siblings, this ex-husband, whatever. This person that you once loved. That you thought loved you. Um, six of bolts. I love these cards. Um, you're getting some kind of attention is what the message is. Some kind of notoriety for something that you've done. You're getting your roses, is what I just heard. Uh, King of Roses. There's somebody sitting off on the sidelines that <clears throat> really loves you, that's about to enter into the picture. All this is exiting stage left in uh, the love of your life is entering stage right. That's what it looks like. Or the person you're with becomes the love of your life all of a sudden. Something like that.
this transformation is really difficult because it's all about finding peace in the middle of a storm. So it takes huge storms. Um, it's how you ascend out of <clears throat> a prison matrix is what I just heard. Oh, now I'm being blocked. Yeah. You have to remain calm in the storm. So at first, it takes a lot of effort. Um, you know, you're kind of born with the natural inclination to stay calm in stressful situations. You probably have always been that person that doesn't freak out when things are going when people around you and everything is just going wacky. But that's a skill that you've been honing. And so it takes a lot, you know, it takes a lot of shit storms to learn how to navigate things like that without flipping out. Because when you flip out, when you lose your sense of inner peace, when you let that go, when you basically throw yourself down on the floor and you're just like, nah, you know, like that kind of thing. That's when you, you're always manifesting, but that's when you manifest chaos. And so more chaos comes until you figure out that it's really not doing anything. You're still alive. You still have... <clears throat> God, love, the universe, whatever it is you want to call it. Don't get caught up in names. I keep saying this, but people keep saying weird stuff in my comments. Anyways, um, God is love. Love is God. Okay. And we're all a part of this crazy concoction. So anyways, um, oh, I forget what I was talking about. Yeah, so you continue to get this chaos coming into your life until you are able to realize that none of it is actually doing anything to you. When your foundations are strong, the wind can't knock you over. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. You know, stuff like that. You learn those lessons you're able to keep a better sense of inner peace. <clears throat> and it's at that moment that everything clicks. And you start to be able to manifest things that promote peace <clears throat> instead of things that promote chaos. It's crazy how intricately everything is connected, the spiritual and the physical. It's literally the same thing. And if you know that, you can use things of the physical that you can easily access and see. And, and <clears throat> figure out what's going on. Learn from it. Okay, so anyways, you've got somebody that loves you waiting in the wings. Um, as you're being put on main stage, ah, one right after the other, it's the King of Hearts and the Queen of Hearts, the King of Hearts and the Queen of Hearts unite. That's so sweet. I love it. <clears throat> and it looks like they're doing it on like a main stage. I'm not sure what that's about. <clears throat> Maybe you're a musician, you know, or, or an actor, or I don't know. You do something on stage. Inverted Knight of Pentacles. Shizzle. They keep showing up to the party. 
So, <clears throat> this union comes after you've unloaded the burdens that were caused by all of these people that were working on taking you out and working so hard at it. <clears throat> like, they must have really been either promised a huge compensation or they were being very generously compensated because they worked day and night to take out chosen ones. They did. Six of Pentacles. To the inverted mirror. Yeah, that's right. This one's the tower. Um, so you're about to be... You're about to be very generously compensated, I was just told, for surviving. <laughs> yeah. That's what I heard. And for rendering the counterforce defenseless by being a uh, by being bait for the universe to catch these uh, villains once and for all. You are the eyes of the world. The universe sees through your eyes. They had to do these things to you for them to really be caught. You are the judge and jury. You have help, you have a whole team, but you're the front line, you're a front line warrior. It's your eyes, your feelings, your judgments that are being used to decide what happens to these entities. Page of Pentacles. Right under the page of wands. <clears throat> it looks to me like you might be getting a message with somebody that wants to offer you some kind of an opportunity of starting something new, something that you'd be very fairly compensated for and appreciated for your true worth. The trick is to find the eye of the storm. Once you can find the eye of the storm so all of the winds don't blow you over, then you can help guide the rest out of the storm. As you know, it's very hairy. And that's why the first ones to go through it have been through so much in their lives because... You stand as a great example of what can be if you choose to go towards the light. As painful as it may seem, it's exactly what you need. Inverted five of skulls. Yeah, you're coming in out of the cold. It's like you're going to come in from this living on the street to being put up on a pedestal. That's what this looks at, like rags to riches. Definitely.
I was born in a desert, raised in a lion's den. I'll bet you can relate to that. I love the Grateful Dead. They raised me, actually. Um, for those of you that don't know me well. Eight of Bears. Eight of Pentacles. It looks to me like you're going to be starting some kind of new work with this divine partnership that's coming in. Getting a new house. <clears throat> Inverted queen of bolts or wands. So basically it looks like this is coming in right under the king of hearts and the queen of hearts. It looks like you've basically taken dominion over this person or these people that have been doing magic over you. They're completely submersed below you. They're just below you. They can't... It, <clears throat> It's almost like um, they're trying to yell at you on the beach and they're like being chained to the bottom of the ocean. Like they can't, like you can't hear them. They can't affect you in any way. They can't touch you. They can't talk to you. They can't nothing you. That's what this looks like. Um, <clears throat> it's passe. They're a thing of the past. <clears throat> Just try to let it go. Um inverted terrapin of bolts which would be ace of wands yeah like i said these people doing black magic on this new moon they're not getting anywhere and let's talk about that let's talk about the new moon it's a new moon and an eclipse all of this is being eclipsed out and we're setting intentions for what's coming in. Every day you wake up, you could be in a completely different dimension where all of these problems just don't exist anymore. So try to start out the day like they don't. This is what I do. Try to start out the day like none of that exists and then just see if it seeps back in or not and if you have to deal with it because it might just not exist anymore. It's the dawn of a new day. It's the dawn of a new era. And the more we hang on to the past, the, the slower this process is going to be. There's such beautiful things to come. Nothing that has been taken from us won't be replaced. Times, of, you know, exponentially. It's going to be like, you're, you're going to be like, who? What? Like, you're not even going to remember these people. It's, it's best if you don't. None of this drama is going to heaven with us. None of it's going to be there when we get there. Shoot, we might already be there. I don't know. Today's been a good day. All right, family. On that note, I am going to get back to you very soon. I love you so much, and I will see you very soon. Thank you.